Hello everyone, I hope you had a good weekend. Welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Oops, wrong button. Today we're going to tackle the Hong Kong market. I'm going to progress up to the point where Tracer Tong removes our kill switch. I think that'll be a good size section, so let's get started. Here's the elevator out of the hell base. Okay, you need to find Tracer Tong. We used to drop Paul off at a small compound east of the market. You can start there. Don't lose any time. Your kill switch is 12 hours old. If you die, our plans will fail. Locate Tracer Tong. No problem, Daedalus. I'm not gonna die. So our two primary goals now are look for clues to finding Tracer Tong at the Paul compound that Paul used to visit to the east of the Wan Chai market. Find Tracer Tong somewhere in Hong Kong. Or no. Jock used to drop Paul off at a small compound east of the Wan Chai Market. If you're interested, I think the code to get back in here is 989. If for some reason you need to go back to the Hella Base. So, let's get started. I just love this section of the game. Mostly I love the music. So... There's some skill points to be had right around here if I could remember how to get them. Talk to this Many fine restaurants buy the meats from me. Have you visited the Lucky Money, for instance? It's below the market in the mall. Got a new note. The Lucky Money Club is in the mall beneath the market. The truck has stopped delivering to the other shops because of military pockets, but all of my meat is guaranteed fresh. Fresh lamb, fresh beef, brought in by some ham. I will cut out the part you most desire. Please take your time. The I mentioned flea delivery. The I mentioned flea delivery. I love the horribly racist accents too. That's just sort of a cherry on top. Let's just keep moving for now. Let's talk to this guy. I have to be warned about you. Fine, I go somewhere else. Watch where you're going. Take a hike. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're going. Pan Pan to China. Very authentic. Do you like? I accept international electronic currency. Pan Pan to China. Very authentic. Okay. Now let's talk to this guy. Shopkeepers are honest. You will find a good bargain here. There's an ATM. Notify me of any problems. Large unbuttoned coat pockets. Not advisable. Keep your wallet in your front pocket. Shopkeepers are honest. You will find a good bargain here. Okay. Let's look at all these people. I work for the butcher too. Everybody in Wayne Chai Market. I have made as a Alejas. I never fall asleep. I am one of the best watchmen. Let alone. I don't work with a voice. This is a bad market. Lots of bad people. Go. Go away. I can tell them you're a spy and they will kill you. I know the dragon head. I know the dragon head. Let's talk to this lady next. Rules of prior wars. Red Arrow versus Luminous Pack. What do you think of the Luminous Path Triad? Cowards soon to be gone. They have to steal weapons because they have lost the traditional arts. What kind of weapons? They murdered the Red Arrow leader to get the sword he invented. How do you invent a sword? It uses modern technology. I play the Red Arrow even though the Romanus Path compound is 50 meters away. Many publications. What's your interest? What do you think of the Red Arrow Triad? They will control all of Wen Chai in a few weeks. You sound certain. The fighting is not going well for the woman as part. Maggie Chow, exclusive interview in the Oriental Daily News. Have you heard of Maggie Chow? A former actress. Well respected. She gives a lot of money to fight drug trafficking and illegal trade. Please put a newspaper back when you are done browsing. 
Their net error is doing a good job cleaning up this market. Please don't miss them. I must make time for other customers. All travelers should keep informed of current events. Alright, let's read her stuff now. Mass driver accident kills over 2,000. APR, Ibadan, Nigeria. The historical first delivery of ore from the Zhou Enlai Lunar Mining Complex ended in tragedy today, but a targeting error resulted in the payload slamming into the outskirts of the city of Ibadan in Nigeria. Thousands died in the initial blast that was compared to a small nuclear bomb as the payload impacted in a sparsely populated suburb. While thousands more were left disoriented, homeless, and without power or water in the wake of the explosion, Chinese officials have halted all other deliveries from the Zhou Enlai complex and are working with both the United Nations and officials from McMoran Global Steel to determine the cause of the error. McMoran Global Steel was responsible for the construction of the mass driver, winning the contract from Cage Industries in a heated bidding war. Obviously, we took the utmost precautions in building the Zhou Enlai driver, said spokesperson Sean Murphy, but something has gone terribly wrong. Our only real response at this point is to offer our condolences and aid to the people of Ibadan and ensure that such an event never occurs again. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 20 Samuel looked at him from across the table, but he might as well have been peering at Jacob from the Devil's Own Palace in the Deep Blue Sea. After a moment, Samuel rubbed his roomy eyes. You ever wonder about morals, he said. Jacob shook his head. I do, all the damn time. I wonder what it means to be good. If there's some tally that says you only hurt ten people, so come on up. But eleven and you're going straight to hell. Then I think maybe it's a little voice that tells you way back in your head. And then I wonder what happens when that voice goes away. Jacob reached under the table and put the little 22 pistol against one of Samuel's kneecaps. I don't think you're going to like my answer to that. Where is she? This newspaper, Canal Road Tunnel Collapse, Hong Kong Standard. Explosions rocked the Wan Chai District two days ago, as fighting between boring triads resulted in the cave-in and flooding of the Canal Road Tunnel, effectively halting almost all access to and from the Wan Chai area. While the fighting occurred in the early hours of the morning and traffic was light, a number of bystanders were trapped during the fighting and subsequently presumed dead. The names of the deceased have not been released at this time. Police have barricaded the area at the Wan Chai Terminal and forbidden any access until a thorough forensic analysis can be made and the bodies removed. In a statement released earlier today, the police declined to name any suspects, though Chief Joey Lung expressed that the reprehensible nature of this crime will not go unanswered by the Hong Kong police. One more newspaper. Grey Death Cases Misdiagnosed, Hong Kong Standard. Authorities confirmed today that a number of mysterious illnesses reported in area clinics were not cases of grey death as had been previously feared, but merely a seasonal outbreak of influenza. Dr. Chang Lam of the People's Health Administration headed the inquiry. I can say with complete certainty that these cases exhibit absolutely none of the symptoms of the so-called grey death, cases which, I might add, have so far only been reported in the less well-managed cities of America and Europe. Those malcontents who have spread rumors to the contrary are merely feeding upon the unjustified fears of the hard-working men and women of Hong Kong. Dr. Lam went on to say that anyone observed making such claims should be reported to local party leaders for counseling. And last, data cue. Welcome to Wan Chai. Please use the following map provided at no cost to enjoy and see our beautiful district. In Wan Chai Market is where you can take in tea, buy a bird, and shop for antiques and other wonderments. The Old China Hand and Lucky Money Club have dancing and drinks for all. End your day with much ovation in the sandpan ride through the historic canal, or observe ceremonies at the authentic temple in the main square. Enjoy! And we get an image that's a map of the area. So, it's a very difficult map to read, but Tonochi Road is great for shopping. The canal system offers fast travel. Old China Hand Bar has great happy hour specials. Visit the Joss Temple, a national treasure. Canal Road is your main access to the Wan Chai District. Find some great deals at the downtown market. Versal Life, the Underworld Nightclub, Queen Towers Luxury Suite. Alright, let's talk to this guy now. I do not recognize you. I cannot make a deal with strangers. Please do not interfere in my business. Please, we are being observed. Please do not interfere in my business. Let's check this street next. Got a military bot. Got a dog and a cat in there. 
Here's the police station. We don't have the code to get in yet. It would only cost one multi tool, but we'll deal with it later. Let me see now. Oh yeah, the ATM. Let's hack that before I forget. One hundred credits. Check these people out. Two? Yes, a little something to brighten up the lab. Versalife? How can you tell? Is my hair turning blue? Versalife has done much to revitalize the community. Well, they're always hiring. I guess that's something. I will wrap them up. No, no, I can manage. Very good. Thank you. Please, such a quaint little market. I just love Mrs. Hang. Excuse me, I'm trying to shop. Perhaps, excuse me, I'm trying to shop. Only 20 credits for that one. A lovely bouquet of orchids, symbolizing grace and integrity. Only 20 credits for that one. Alright, easy enough. Here's the other side of the police station. Canal Road is that way, so it's the Temple and the Luminous Path compound. Well, please, we'll get to look that. around. But, uh, for now... Well, let's go ahead and cover this for now. I'll show you where all the map changes are. If you go down to Canal Road, you'll change maps. You're next to the compound Paul used to visit. But I don't know what it looks. I think I'm clear now. I think the NSA invested in stealth technology. So Canal Road is a map change. I think they're speaking Mandarin. If someone knows that, translations would be appreciated. Okay. Here's an entrance to the old China Hand Bar, which actually just takes us to the other canal district of Wan Chai. Let's check out the temple right quick. I don't think there's anything in here except another bug to talk to. Yao Hak. Many other Buddhas in Hong Kong. I am keeping an eye on you. I am not posting for any more photos today. I am not posting for any more okay. photos today. Well, let's go ahead and check out the Luminous Path compound, get our first objective. She said no. Impossible. She said she has made other arrangements. The Red Otto? She was very rude. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Hmm. Don't waste any time. I know the dragon head. My brother's name is Paul Denton. I heard that he was a frequent visitor to this compound. Do you know him? The Rumonos path is close to Guaylos. Paul is no friend of the West. My name is Gordon Quick. I know your brother, but you are not him. They say you are royal to Unatko. I was, before Paul showed up in New York. A day later, I was helping the NSF. You want me to take your word? You are in Hong Kong now, and we are businessmen. Paul earned our trust by working with us. I don't have time for games. No games. We would like another ally like Paul. The trials are at war thanks to a woman named Maggie Chow. A sword was stolen from the Red Arrow Triad, and Miss Chow started the war by blaming us, the Romanus Path. Why is one sword so important? It is an extraordinary sword called the Dragon's Tooth. Nanotechnology developed by the Red Arrows for Morida before he was murdered. We know that Chow is a liar, but we have no proof. I'll go speak to her. But first I need to find a man called Tracer Tong. I need his help. Mr. Tong deals with businessmen, not beggars or strangers who might be spies. Chow lives at 1313 Tonoji Road. Be observant. 
find and examine that sword. It is the evidence we need. I'll help you against Miss Chow, but then I'll need to see Tong, or I won't be your ally for more than about 12 hours. <coughs> so, yet a new note. Maggie Chow lives at 1313 Tonochi Road, and our new primary goal is find and examine the Dragon's Tooth Sword as proof regarding whether or not Maggie Chow is telling the truth. The former Red Arrow Reader stole nanotech components from VersaLife. I believe it was the corporation that had him murdered. The Dragon's Tooth is the most perfect blade possible in a non eutactic solid. It would have given the Red Arrow an enormous advantage. All contests between the triads are decided with the ancient art of fighting. The structure of the braid was maintained by a coating of nanoscale wetting devices. Very sharp. We have begun work on our own sword, but progress is slow. I find it suspicious that Magi Chao came to power precisely when the former Red Arrow Rita was murdered. The sword has killed more men as an argument than it ever did as a weapon. Keep your word. Go to Magi Chao. Find out the truth. Keep your word. Go to Magi Chao. Find out the truth. All right, let's head back over here now. See what the boy's gonna do. Go away! I must make time for all our customers. Now, if you head down here, this is the entrance to Versa Life. We'll be there later. That's the underground mall where the Lucky Money Club is. That's a map change. This is another map change heading towards Tenochi Road. So we're just about ready to change maps, but we still need to explore the tea house. So, let's see who all's up here. Do you want to do business in Wang Chai? We already have an arrangement with the Luminous Path. Do you want to do business in Wang Chai? I will not be threatened. Don't think the Luminous Path can protect you. Get out, now! As you wish, but don't be surprised if you don't pass your next inspection. I know people on the health board. They can't be bought. Perhaps, but they dislike rats. Don't interfere in my business. Don't interfere in my business. Welcome to the Wan Chai Tea House. Anything you like, 12 credits. If for some reason you need something to eat or a soda, you can buy them here. What do you think of the triads? Don't talk to me about the triads. They give you a lot of trouble? They are punks. Talking all the time about community and traditions, then they fight over technology from a multinational corporation like VersaLife. How do you know that the sword came from VersaLife? It has nanotech components. It is self-sharpening or something. I wish they would use it to chop off each other's heads. Can I help you? What do you know about Maggie Chow? A famous woman. Used to act in kung fu movies. What about now? She has other ambitions. They say she has connections in government. And I have seen her myself in this shop. Have tea with big executives from Life. She probably has a lot of money to invest. They were not talking about investments. I overheard. It was biotechnology. She's doing scientific research. I think she has her own office at VersaLife. Yes, sir. Okay, that's it. Never mind. Oh my god. They are everywhere. We will be patient while they clean up the mess. You can't be serious. We would offend the nephew if we were to leave so soon. Please, we are having a discussion. Please. We had the Jiao Zi. Very good. I can't stand it. I've got to get out here. They will kill the rats. Not a problem. Disgusting. The police are worthless. The Red Arrow has no fear. The police are worthless. May I recommend Lunjin, most precious tea of China. There's one of the acoustic gunfire sensors. You might remember those. I must beg your pardon. We were talking. I guess he's done. Let's head downstairs. A small matter to discuss. Explain. I just 
disturbance in the tea house. Can you overlook? 100. No injuries, only a prank. 100. I have 55. 100. 65. Okay, 65. I cannot make deal with strangers. My own business. Stay out of my way. Are you looking for trouble? I saw you watching. Keep your mouth shut. My own business. I never knew about this. I guess maybe I'll kill the rats for it. Stop. Yes, sir. Never mind. Oh, there's another one over here. Two over here. The police are worthless. I must beg your pardon. We were talking. Can I help you? Never mind. I didn't know for sure. I thought maybe I could get something for clearing the rats out, but no dice. Oh. Where'd the red arrow guy go? He's Are you looking for trouble? Hanging out there. Let's see what this girl's up to. <sighs> Okay. Still not quite ready for a map change. We got some skill points to get before we leave. I'm in here. Crouch and jump out onto these roofs. want to, you can spend a whopping four multi-tools to disable one of the gunfire sensors, but it's pointless because we'll have no need of firing our guns here anyway. So if you get up here, it's worth 40 skill points. That's the only reason for that little bit of exploration. That brings my total to 268, way too low to do anything. Now... Before we head over to the waterways, <sighs> let's head to Canal Road and clear that out right quick, because if we go at the beginning, we can witness a fight that I'm pretty sure you can't see later on. I did it! I did it! Did anybody see? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't matter. We got her payment, plus interest. Get back and see if she earns something. Okay. I'm gonna keep following this, too. Keep your word. Go to Maggie Chow. Find out the truth. <laughs> I would say that Hong Kong is easily the biggest hub in the game. I mean, it's... I don't know exact numbers, obviously, but I'd say it's easily twice as big as New York. So much to do here. I told you, bad people around here. Get out of here. Go. I am your new watchman. You stole a hundred credits from me. Dragonhead said I am your watchman 50 credits every day. That's better than a hundred. I can make a profit as it is. I will do a good job. All travelers should keep informed of current events. I know the Dragonhead. I think at this point he just wanders around here. I think he's finally done. So let's go around the compound and head down into Canal Road. You don't actually have to worry about the kill switch. I mean, I've never sat and left the game running for 12 hours, but I'm pretty sure nothing happens. Canal Road Tunnel, Wan Chai Terminal. So if you head down here, 
see Luminous Path and Red Arrow get into a sword fight. Let's just wait and see who wins. They each, I don't think any of them have anything besides their sword. Sword, weapon stats, ammo types NA, base damage 10 plus 50% equals 15. Clip size, rate of fire, reload time, all in a recoil 0.0, .0. base accuracy 50% plus 25% equals 75%. Accurate range, max range, NA, mass 20 pounds, laser sight, scope, silencer, all in a skill, weapons, low tech, a rather nasty looking sword. Indeed, but we have no use for it. It's always lethal. Um, I'm reasonably certain none of them are carrying anything besides a sword anyway. They won't attack us. Unless we do something to antagonize them. But there's an ATM down here, so let's go ahead and hack it. Fifty credits. Are they ever gonna manage to kill that guy? And then if you head down here, watch these sills, because in this corner there's a lockpick. Which I actually need again, because the lock strengths have gone up dramatically. And if you keep going down, the, down here, there are some... There's a Chinese military blockade, one dead policeman, a couple of dead triads. Let's talk to him. Nothing to see here. Move along! The road's blocked. You have to go through the market. The road's blocked. You have to go through Nothing the market. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. The road's blocked. You have to go through the market. Uh, I don't know if I can get past it or not. I think I can. <laughs> yeah. Move along! That one had a lockpick and a sword. Awesome. That one also had a lockpick and a sword. Still awesome. That one had a hazmat suit and an assault rifle. If it gives you a hazmat suit, there's usually a reason. I'll hold on to that for a bit. The world's blocked. You have to go through the market. Nothing to see here. If you come all the way down here, you get 50 skill points, as you saw just then. That's always handy. And make your way over here, okay. Now we, we can't get any farther. But 50 skill points are always handy, <laughs> as are the two lockpicks. None of your concern. We are now one spectators. You can do nothing. Go. None of your concern. Alright, so we're done with that little map. Well, they did finally manage Stay to kill him. Stay out of our business. Let's make sure the last guy doesn't have anything. Do not judge what you do not understand. Just another sword. None of them want to say anything else. So, we're done. Let's head out of here, and let's go to the waterways. There's a lot of exploring to do there. Do not touch. Screw you. Alright, we'll go to... If you follow the sign to Tonochi Road, it takes you to the waterways. Still part of the Wan Chai Market. The other entrance is just over on the other side. But let's hop this bridge and <gasps> talk to these two. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. Come by in the morning. Sampan rides. Five credits. 
What business do you have here at this hour? I said not safe. Go home. We made notes of anyone who visited the canal. What business do you have here at this hour? We made notes of anyone who visited the canal. Now, Tonochi Road itself is another map change, so we won't go for that just yet. Right, let me just look around for people to talk to. I was walking here. Get out of my way. Just about had enough. Always one eye on my pocket. You worse alive think you own everything. Sick of experiments. Leave me alone. Sick of experiments. Onward. I think that will change the map to Tenoji Road. Let me make sure, though. Yes, it will. Don't want to do that just yet, so I'll just quick load to pop back outside. There's one path down into the canals. We won't go diving just yet. There's the old China Hand bar. We will go there, but not right now. We'll explore the rest of this area first. There are only a couple of things to find down in the canals, but there's lots of exploring to do. Binoculars inside that cardboard box. Lest you think they're always empty, they are not. This takes you down to the old China Hand bar. Let's head the other way across this bridge. Not advisable for tourists to... Thankfully, this area is pretty sparsely populated, and there are still no hostels. Let's talk to these two. 50. 75. Both 75. Double UO Globe. Original one kilo bricks. Pure. 90 for both. Hey, you! Who's that? You made a big mistake, homeboy. I had never found those two before either. That's Not advisable for tourists. Let's get out my pepper gun. Fifty. Seventy-five. Both seventy-five. Double UO globe. Original one kilo bricks. Pure. Ninety for both. Hey, you! Who's that? You made a big mistake, homeboy. Time, so I'll just turn on regeneration to deal with it. There we go. He has a prod charger, a 40, and a multi tool. Multi tool is always useful. What about the other guy? Crowbar and a 40. Nothing useful there. I'm being more thorough than usual, and I'm actually finding new things. I hadn't seen those guys before. I have to find it. Get to that door from the other side to open it. So if we head over here, I think that will complete the circle, as it were, for the canal district. Although there's plenty of stuff to do and find. Apart from the old China hand itself, let's head down this ramp. We can explore a couple of the sand pans as well as get into one person's house. Okay, good. We're back to 20 lockpicks. There's another one, so we've got one to spare. Just have to remember where it is. 
Let's head over onto the sand pan. I thought there was someone on it, but I guess not. Just a dog. There are some flares up here. Binoculars on the deck. There's the ship's wheel. Oh yeah, there is someone on deck. Let's talk to her. But before we do that, if you pull the paper lantern, you can open up a secret area. Getting inside is worth 30 skill points, up to 348. There's a bioelectric cell in here, and a repair bot. Always handy, infinite energy. Looks like I have found the place to use that lockpick, if what's in here is something good. Which I think it would be, if I remember right. We've got 150 credits. Ah, yes, and a bunch of Zyme. We want to get as much of this stuff as we can. And 300 extra credits. Definitely worth the lockpick, especially since I can just head back here and be back at maximum. Now let's open the other cardboard boxes just in case. If you're wondering why I'm collecting Zyme, it's because later in the game, when we get to France, we can sell it for a lot of money. Now these wicker baskets, I think they all just have swords in them. Up here, nothing. All right, now we'll talk to this lady before we explore the cargo hold. Good evening, sir. Slow night. Not at all. Everyone requires sampan now that the Triads destroy Canal Road Tunnel. Why'd they do that? Fighting in the tunnel, sir. Five nights ago, that is caved in and flooded. That must have hurt the shops in Wan Chai. People have died. Yesterday, four Europeans arrived. Treasure hunters. They are here to dive in the ruins and loot the bodies. Must be the year of the vulture. It is an ugly business, but a profitable one. They have given me a commission if I can sell the weapon mods they have already recovered. I have modifications for accuracy, reload, and recoil for 750, 600, and 400. Maybe later. We got a note. Part of the Canal Road Tunnel is submerged in water. Many people died there. Ready but to buy? I want to save and just... I'll take the egg. See if I can use any of these in a weapon I care about. I don't think I can anymore. I can't raise accuracy on my pistol or my mini crossbow. Ready to buy? See if I buy the reload. 600 for a reload mod. Deal. Very good. Ah, good. Let's put the reload mod on the crossbow. Drops the time by 20% to 1.6 seconds. That's handy. Ready to buy? I don't think I can use a recoil mod. Here's 400 for the recoil mod. Very good. Nope. Can't use it on anything, so... Put that away. And let's check out our cargo hold before we leave. Five candy bars, five soy foods. Here's a data cube. Log entry, 00 colon 2345 colon 2223. Took that damn repair bot we picked up last week and wired him into the engine compartment. Might finally be useful and give us enough power to clear the maritime patrols before it burns out. Now we just have to wait for Harbor Master clearance. Close log, ship's captain Sun Chun. Back here a med kit, which I actually do need. Now that's back to maximum. Perfect. Now, while we're down here in the canals, let's get into that other sandpan. I think we have to jump to do that. also believe that we'll have to use our speed enhancement to do this, which is why we got it instead of run silent, because it also 
dramatically drops our fall damage while it's active, which is handy. Four picks. I'd rather just blow it open. So why don't I get my get gun out and do exactly that? Let's just shoot it in the middle. That should be close enough. You can see little mobile sandpans running around the canal from time to time, but you don't need to worry about it. So if we go down into here, ah yes, this is why I wanted that hazmat suit. While we're down here, we can find plasma clip, rockets, napalm. No skill points, so... That probably wasn't terribly worthwhile, but that's doubtless why we got that hazmat suit earlier. So, now we'll dive into the canals. There's thankfully only one thing to find down here. You just get between these two ships. Head for this wooden door. There went my hazmat suit. Hop up here, we can head inside. Only one hot pick, what's inside? A 40, a multi-tool, and a biocell. Yeah, I'll trade the lock pick for the multi-tool because I had 20 lockpicks and 18 multi-tools. Now I have 19 of each. So it's worth 20 skill points to find the fisherman's house. When we're in here, he's got a med kit. I think that's all he has in terms of goodies. The skill points are the reason you come up here. But let's talk to him. Not much activity down here. Activity? What kind of activity? Anything. The canal's dead. They've added a section for night time. Nevertheless, there's traffic, even when you don't see it. You mean heroin? Illegal products, of course, but you find everything in the canal. Things that have been lost, things people want to forget. Last month, he was the leader of the Red Arrow. He was floating near my house. You saw the body? My name's in the paper. I saw the cut across his neck. They are right. It was colorized. It was what? Colorized. The scientific terminology. Someone cut him. But it was a weapon that cannot be explained with the current technology. What else do you find? Do you sell it? Are you? Are you a tourist? Just curious. I hear the triads control all the smuggling in Hong Kong. Yes, the triads do it. I am the simple merchant. I receive only fruits and the vegetables. My sampan? But you said... Yes, fresh. From my grocery store in the market. Right. I will have to stop by and take a look sometime. My store is now open in the evening. Come in the morning. We have a fresh new shipment of durian. Be careful who you talk to about the triads. I'm busy. Go now. Many people show up dead in the canals, not just triads. I'm busy. Go now. Alright, he's done. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there is something up here. 50 credits. There you go. Alright. Now if you head out this ladder, you can push a switch, and that opens a door in the wall right there. I think next we'll do the old China hand bar. That's not a map change. So first we'll do the bar itself, and then we'll get to the flooded area of the tunnels, which is why I've been hoarding this rebreather this whole time. So we head down here. First, let's just explore outside. Here's just a couple, another way down to the canals. Here's one entrance to the bar. Here's another entrance to the bar. That way goes all the way back to the main district. Yep, here it is. 
So let's go in the bar through... Let's go downstairs. Let's go in this way. Let's see where it puts me. It puts me right at the kitchen. Paul Denton, I have the blueprints. I must warn you, I... Oh. Warn me about what? I have made a mistake. Paul's my brother. What's the problem? No, I have made a mistake. No, I am sorry. I must say nothing. They would kill me. You can trust me. I really am Paul's brother. You said something about blueprints. No, I do not know you. Maybe you work for VersaLife. VersaLife. Good. We're getting closer. You might as well tell me the rest. If I'm gonna kill you, you are already dead. You paid me, okay? I only did it for the money. I have the blueprints of the VersaLife building, 2,000 credits. And I have the other things he wanted. The scrambler grenade for 1250 and the thermoptic camo for 4,000. What did Paul want with VersaLife? All he said was not to get caught and to tell nobody what I did. Let's go ahead and take the blueprints. Give me the VersaLife blueprints for 2,000. Excellent. Tell no one. Four new images. Okay. I will sell to you. Okay. I'll check back with you. Nothing to worry about there. Let's look at our four new images. <clears throat> VersaLife building. Level one. F lo market elevator. Lobby. Security. First shift. On level two, we got the break room and second shift. Level three. Restricted elevator. Lounge. And third shift. Here's the MJ-12, here's the Hong Kong market, Canal Road, Joss Temple, Compound, Flowers, Snacks, Police, Old China Hand, Maintenance, Taylor, Butcher, Pets, China, News, Tea House, Tenochi Road, VersaLife Elevator, and the MJ-12 Helipad Facility, which we've already cleared, yeah. but you know, you see level 1, the munitions bay and barracks, level 2, refueling tanks, market elevator, helipad 1 and 2, level 3, control decks 1 and 2. There we go. That should cover everything. So, the blueprints aren't really very useful, but I wanted to buy them just to show them to you. I don't have that much to spend money on anyway. Here's the other entrance to this building. No big deal. Let's talk to the other patrons of the bar. I take care of you. Spatial price. She must be the bargain. Romantic. A boat? Yes. I know where it's dark. I take care of you. What? I'm looking for someone called Tracer Tong. Heard the name? I know you. I know who you are. Yeah? You work for the Luminous Path. You should be dead now. Mm, but you left Hong Kong just in time. You have me confused with someone else. No, it was you. Miss Chow told us. You are the American who helped them steal the sword. Really, I... You cannot stop the Red Arrow. They will control China as they control Hong Kong. Very soon. You will not leave Hong Kong alive. I will tell Max Ten that you have returned. Hmm, bad mistake. The inner kingdom must be open to the world. Everyone suffers when the roads are closed and uh, we are surrounded by walls. The inner kingdom must be open to the world. Let's talk to the bar. Many bargains at old China hand. Everything eight credits. Heard the name Tracer Tong? Tong, yes. Friend of a luminous path triad. And by extension, Enemy of the Red Air. What's his reputation uh, among the locals? Sure, by fear. Very well connected. You want to buy? Biomechanical augmentation? Just curious. Is there a lot of crime in Hong Kong? Much more than before, yes. Not very easy for the smugglers. What kind of smugglers? Slaves, heroin, biotech. Is there really a slave trade? Oh, sure. This lucky money underneath Wen Chai. The Red Air Headquarters. Of their girls, they are kidnapped in Thailand or the Philippines. Not a pretty business. What sort of biotech smuggling goes on? Mostly Versalife, 
the golden triangle of biotech. Why would a multinational corporation smuggle their products on sampans? Import restrictions in many places. The United States, European countries. On what? Certain genetic advances, laboratory organisms, also tiny computers in your tissue. What's VersaLife trying to develop? Everything. The second man. The second men? English author. Olaf Stepton. You have not read? Afraid not. Last in the first man. History of 19 species of human beings. I can't believe you do not know this book. I'm not big into books. You know of a Maggie Chow? Maggie Chow, a bad character. Before she was an actress. Now she's everywhere in Hong Kong politics. They say that she's a spy. Who does she spy for? No one knows. Somebody paid her a lot of money once, and one of the rare airs ended up floating in a canal. Dangerous to talk about. You buy in Wen Chai, you pay 12. Here, 8. Okay, that's it. Never mind. So I noticed behind the bar there's a credit chit. Let's grab that, 25. There's a med kit in the fridge if you need it. I do not. So let's head back into the kitchen. Drinks in the fridge. Knife and food and drinks on the table. Not much going on. Let's head through here. Now we're in the freezer. In case that wasn't obvious. Let's see what's back here. Yet another entrance to the canals. But perceptive among you notice this stack of crates. You do want to hop up it, get on top of this metal ring, and then head into the vents here. That's just another way out into the freezer. Pretty sure this is too. But as you creep down the vents, you get a 50 skill point exploration bonus. Go up to 418. Still toying with the idea of doing pistols before multi-tool mock picking. I don't know for sure, but either way, it's a ways off. Once you get through the vent, you end up here, above the canal, inside this little bridge. You run through here, find another ladder to go down. We find ourselves in a maintenance area, and right down there is the water. Now, I'm going to equip the rebreather but I'm not gonna use it until my oxygen is almost out. Reason being that it immediately refills your oxygen to full. So let's take a dive and actually let's not have the rebreather equipped just yet. There are two more rebreathers down there now, but I seem to be having trouble getting to them. If you swim out here, there are a couple of uh, Karkians to worry about. I do want one of those other rebreathers for my switch. So, I'm gonna have to grab them quickly before they slow down. We'll need one for the swim in and one for the swim out. So, be quick, grab it. Got it. Good. Now let's equip this so I'm ready to use it. We can't really fire any of our guns underwater. And I don't think the Karkians will follow us ashore. We activate the rebreather. You can see it turn on. Karkians after us. I think if we swim straight away, we can get away from it. I think there are two more. You just have to run up here. Hop up here. Alright. Let me crank these little beasties. It'll almost certainly take more than one guard. I'm gonna regenerate in the meantime since one of the men is fighting me. One. 
These are baby Kargians, they aren't full grown. So why did we swim all this way? It's to find this dead body. He has a biocell and an augmentation upgrade canister. I'm gonna upgrade regeneration again to tech three. Oh, I didn't mean to use a biocell, but it's okay. I can restock that right here too. Awesome. Head, let's head here next. Let's get my other rebreather ready to go. There is still another baby Karkian to worry about, but I think we should be okay as long as we're swimming. Now there's some more goodies down here too, if we swim to the right. I'm not so much worried about the goodies as I am about some skill points to be had back here. Baton, that's something. Oh. I don't know what made me think that I couldn't fire my weapons down here. Darts ought to be enough to deal with him. As before. Yep, there he goes. Where are those skill points? There they are. Ten skill points, exploration bonus. All you get is sniper rifle and a laser, which I'll put on sniper ammo and a laser, which I'll put on my pistol. But we are going for maximum skill points, so JC up over this again. I have little doubt I'm gonna run out of air, but that's why we have tech three regeneration. I can keep myself alive even as I'm drowning. Let's get back out the same way we came in. Alright, very good. I believe that's the game's longest swim. We shouldn't have to worry about that again. I'm gonna head back to the sand pan to refill my bioelectric energy before I head to Tonochi Road. That's where I'm going next.
There we go. Pow. 100%. And full health. Gotta love the regeneration, Aug. Now I'll head through the map change, then I'm going to take a brief time Not out. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. Of course, for you all, it'll just translate as a minor hiccup in the video. Tonochi Road, Wan Chai District. Here we are, and I will be right back. And we're back. All right. We head up here. We find a luminous path guide to talk to. You are an unfamiliar face on Tonochi Road. I'm here on business from Gordon Quick. You are here to speak to Miss Chow, perhaps? Half a block down on the left. Thank you. The woman is a snake. Believe nothing she says. I myself have been watching Ms. Chow. She just met with Max Chen, leader of the Red Arrow. You may go about your business. We had an agent in the building across the street, but he left for business in the United States. Don't let yourself be fooled. Maggie Chow is a clever woman. Don't let yourself be fooled. There's plenty to explore here on Tonochi Road, too. Up above us, mainly. I bet you come from the market. That's where I want to go. There's the other entrance from the canals. My mother said there's too much fighting. I have to stay here. I don't hear any fighting. The triads know better than to cause trouble in public. I hate Tonochi Road. My mother said there's too much One fighting. I have to stay here. 1313 Queen's Tower Luxury Suites. That's where Maggie Chow lives. We'll go there in a minute. Strangers in Hong Kong should stay near the market. The side streets are not safe for tourists at night. My you should always carry a map. You should always Ooh. carry a map. Over here, there's an elevator. We'll mess with that later. There is a military bot. Hey, a bomb. Two bombs. You missed them. They left over an hour ago. Guess they're painting up there. Saw it on their boots when they came out of the alley. I used to paint myself. Think they're hiring? I used to paint myself. I'm looking for a way into this building. Use front of building. Only try out use sidewalk living back. Good advice. Very many triad members. This part of Wan Chai. Alley not safe. Stay in street. Alley not safe. Stay in street. So here is the sidewalk lift. We could blow open the door, use four lockpicks on it. But we'll probably end up taking their advice and going through the front door, at least for now. Here's a red arrow. Maggie Chow wants to see me. I assume that's her hotel across the street? That is correct. How do I get up to see her? The main elevator. Maggie Chow would be angry if you arrived any other way. I saw you speaking to that thug over there. Unwise. This is a dead end. I advise you to turn back toward the market. I saw you speaking to that thug over there. Unwise. Alright, this is a dead end, so... Let's head into the Queen's Tower now. First we'll talk to the doorman. Welcome to Queen's Tower. You may use the residential directory computer, if you know how. The seventh floor is closed for... renovations. All guests must use the main elevator. Again, I apologize for not providing additional assistance. The seventh floor is closed for renovations. Alright, he's done. Let's read this data cube. Party Leader Zan, I was much inspired by your speech to our local community resource center and wish to do my part in helping to maintain a free China. As you have said, there are many threats to that freedom, both from within and without. It is with glad heart, then, that I am able to inform you of suspicious activities on the part of Dr. Tracy Fang. Dr. Fang has declared on a number of occasions that he believes cases of Grey Death are going untreated, a situation I cannot believe the party would permit. 
and has often been observed leaving at odd hours on what he declares to be family emergencies. I believe that Dr. Fang is a good individual with the best hopes for Hong Kong and China at heart, and could thus benefit from counseling. Ms. Chow was kind enough to bring this to my attention, and should be saluted for the many hours of entertainment and happiness she has brought to the Chinese people. The penthouse elevator will take us to her. This elevator takes two multi-tools. Let's hit the residential directory. Please choose a bulletin to view. Lobby. The Queen's Tower has provided discreet, luxurious accommodations for over 200 years. Our clientele are treated to not only the most elegant amenities in all of Hong Kong, including indoor pool, spa, gymnasium, and clinic, but also protected 24 hours a day by automated security and around-the-clock surveillance. Pool and fitness. Regretfully, the recreation floor is reserved for residents. Kit Lam Wei. By request, this residence code has been made unavailable. Larry and Ling Wu. By request, this residence code has been made unavailable. Dr. Tracy Feng. By request, this residence code has been made unavailable. Bobby Ryan. By request, this residence code has been made unavailable. Undergoing renovations. This floor is under currently undergoing renovations in our effort to create the most modern, comfortable living space possible for future residents. If you would like to examine the floor prior to leasing or purchasing a residence here, please sign in with our on-site manager and use code 3444. The Queen's Tower cannot, of course, be held responsible for any accidents incurred during unescorted tours of the work area. Maggie Chow. Ms. Chow grants you access. Please use the private penthouse elevator. So we know the code to get in here now is 3444, but let's check this room first. There's a credit chit on the desk. 50. And... The security terminal. Let's hack this open. Turn off the cameras, unlock and open the door outside. Very handy. Now, before we do anything else, let's take the main elevator to visit Maggie because we can talk to her. I'll go run her little errand before I turn her apartment hostage, so let's just ride straight up to the penthouse. Her maid greets us. I'm looking for Maggie Chow. You must be Mr. Denton. Miss Chow has been expecting you. She is waiting in the living room. Please follow me. I will accompany you. The floor coverings were made by hand in Tibet. Take a look around. We have many prized Buddhas you will observe. I will accompany you. Alright. You can hear security lasers and this is rather obvious, but don't do that unless you're ready for Mag before the maid to turn hostile. Which I'm not yet. We have many prized Buddhas you will observe. You know me, I like to hear all the messages I can. Now, Maggie Chow has the most ridiculous voice in the entire game. It's awesome. I hope you love it as much as I do. I will accompany you. Mr. J.C. Denton, in the fresh. As dark and serious as his brother. You know who I am. And Paul, you know my brother? Intimately. Call me Maggie. Paul never mentioned you. That is why he is still alive. He can keep a secret, even from his own brother. But why... Paul told you about Majestic 12, correct? The conspiracy behind you, Natko? Just the name. Majestic 12 sent Paul to murder the former Red Arrow leader. And me too. And he double-crossed them? Rest to say, I persuaded him to join our side. What does Majestic 12 want with the Red Arrow? We are winning the Triad War against Majestic 12's ally, the Luminous Path. We were developing a new technology. You might have heard about a sword. The Dragon's Tooth, right? The Triad settle disputes in contests of skill, which includes the crafting of weapons. The Dragon's Tooth would have made us unstoppable. So Majestic 12, we're trying to tip the balance, give the Luminous Path a technological advantage. Exactly. I try to warn the people of the danger. And the Luminous Path calls me a liar. The police have all the evidence they need to settle this. Locked up in the station at the Wan Chai Market. But they will not act. Go and see. I know the code to their vault. 87342. 
It's only fair to tell you that I spoke with Gordon Quick before coming here. I thought he was a friend of my brother's. I agreed to visit you and learn the truth of the situation. Yes, you were seen. The new Red Arrow leader is Max Chen, and you don't have to go to the Lucky Money for him to know your activities. Now tell me about Paul. Why did he not return? Paul's on his way to Hong Kong. I don't know when he will arrive. Then you must think for yourself. In Hong Kong, the truth is seldom kept in plain sight. So, we got a secondary goal. Find evidence in the police station in the Wan Chai market that will settle the triad dispute. Bring it to Maggie Chow to earn her trust. And we got two notes. The Wan Chai market police have evidence that could settle the triad's dispute. Vault code 87342. Max Chen is the new leader of the Red Arrow tri triad. He can be found at the Lucky Money Club. From up here, the city is scenery. A mountain that never changes. But everywhere the sands are shifting. We cannot know who to trust. The police, even our own families. I could look around, try to learn something about the Luminous Path. All the necessary evidence is at the police station in Wan Chai Market. If only the police would act. The Luminous Path are easy prey. All Majestic Twelve must do is wave some money under their noses. We must expose the conspiracy behind the Luminous Path. Then they will fall apart from the inside. When your brother arrives, please tell him I have an important matter to discuss. Go to the police station. You will find the information we need. Enough talk. We must act. The police are corrupt and incompetent. We will have to help ourselves. Enough talk. We must act. Take right. a look around. Let's go upstairs. Well, that subtitle sort of gave it away. We heard an MJ-12 trooper humming. I don't know how we would know it's an MJ-12 trooper, but that's okay. Up here we got a data cube. When you have the time, Mei Sung, I would suggest that you read two of my favorite books, Insurgent and Tai Fun. I believe you'll find both of them as illuminating as I have. They're in my office if you'd like to borrow them. Maggie. This must be Mei Sung's bedroom. Nothing else in here, but... If you're reasonably good at thinking, you can puzzle out Maggie Chow's, uh, password. Data Cube. Mr. Hundley, it has become necessary to change my system password since it may have become compromised. I will encrypt the new password and forward it to you shortly. Please note that any access attempts made using Tai Fun should be tagged and traced for interrogation. Maggie Chow. Well, if it used to be Tai Fun, it should be pretty easy to figure out that her other favorite book, Insurgent, is the new password. So let's read the books. Tai Fun by Lin Yo. The history of the triads is in many ways the history of modern China. Popular myth holds that the triads originated as a resistance movement against the Qing dynasty after it descended from Manchuria to seize the capital of Peking by force. When faced with a rebellion in the Fukian province, the Qing dynasty recruited an order of warrior monks who were later deemed expendable by the emperor and all but exterminated. Survivors organized a number of secret monasteries and became known as the Hong Moon, dedicated to overthrowing the Qings. The Hong Moon showed a remarkable political adaptability, portraying themselves as protectors of the people, even as they accepted money from Japanese corporate fronts during World War II. Now here, Insurgent by X. When faced with the subversion of an organized ruling body, external action, even when executed in concert as a group, is often ineffectual. True revolution can only come from working within, and in this, the ultimate change that can be brought about by an individual is magnified by the very machinery that such organizations utilize to maintain their own authority. Historically, ruling bodies are always outnumbered by those they rule, but still they manage to maintain a disproportionate amount of power through a combination of tradition, confusion, and punishment. An operative who learns to simulate the veneer of a loyalist and guard their own secret heart can utilize those very same tools to overthrow such organizations or shift them to a more ideologically pleasing axis. Now next to the computer, another data cube. Hello, Maggie. I swear I will never forget your birthday again. July 18th is marked on my calendar forever. Lewis. Oh, she just broke a chair running around. Now, I don't know if hacking the... getting into... The, yeah. If we mess with the computer, that'll turn her hostile, too, so... We'll have to do that later, but... We've solved out the password. That's important. So, up here... We can find... Another book. 
The True Way by Kishiro Yoshitaka. If one is to imagine the perfect sword that can cut and swing with no resistance, a sword that is an extension of the mind and heart of the warrior who wields it and not a dead weight of steel, then it becomes clear that the sword is of little consequence compared to the will of the strategist. Those who would master the way must come to understand this. A sword is a tool whose purpose is to cut. Each day the strategist must practice this until it is not practiced, but a part of their spirit. The strategist knows that every sword they wield is perfect, for their will is perfect, and it is through their will alone that they win battles. I will accompany you. And on the desk is a credit chit. A hundred credits. Not bad. Through here, we find... nothing, really. Oh, Mei Sung continues to shadow our every day. Get away from there! That's fine. I will just head down here and ride the elevator back down for now. Someone's there. I can hear you. <laughs> we won't worry about that. Because I just stepped too, stepped too close to him. Now, let's head up here. Three four 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 four. They're three four four four. Let's us into here, so let's ride this up. And up here, we can find a few things. A data cube. Mort, I'm going to be off-site tomorrow, so I'm counting on you to head things up. Just FYI, the electrician completed installation of the security system today. Log in Queen's Tower and password security, in case you get around to handling the configuration issues. I don't think the doorman's quite figured out how to use it yet, so you might need to do some hand-holding with him. I also set the elevator bypass code inside the shaft to 1709 before I left, if you need to do any work down there. Should the contractors return to work on floor 7, give them code 3444. Any other problems come up, you know how to get a hold of me. Lynn. 1709. And there's somebody up here. Let's talk to her. You have 20 credits, mister. What for? I will be honest. It is crash. A big crash. Uh, I just need a little for the pain. A forgotten virtue like honesty is worth at least 20 credits. You are so kind. It was nothing. You're looking for Maggie Chow. Why? You know something? She lives upstairs, but don't come in this way. Her guards are the only ones who use the gate. They don't like people snooping around. Thanks for the tip. Thank you again. Thank you again. J12 Trooper. I wasn't ready to fight him just yet. Still not really. Well, let's go ahead and take him out, since he heard me somewhere. Knife and an assault shotgun. Blah de blah. So you can pick that door open or blow it open. Seven. Oh, we can't use this. This we can blow open and make our way up the shaft. But now I can't remember if 1709 is an alternate code for this elevator or if it's something else. Let me find out. Didn't think so. I think it's the code for the sidewalk lift outside. Which is where we will go next. Well, now we know that Maggie's got MJ-12 troopers, but we'll pretend we don't. Yeah, so if you head through here... You can go up this little ladder. <gasps> ah, yes, here it is. There's a keypad right here where we can enter 1709. That'll bring us up here. It's worth 50, uh, 50 skill points, which is handy. <laughs> up here we find a multi-tool. <laughs> I can't help but think I need to explore the elevator shaft. We can get into Maggie's penthouse by breaking the skylight there, but 
that really doesn't do much for us. What being up here really lets us do is get into Jock's apartment across the way, which... Now, we know that July Maggie's birthday is July 18th, 718. That's another entrance into her back area. I won't worry about that just yet, either. Let me just ride down here just to make sure there's nothing I missed. And then I'll go poke around Jocks. See, behind here there's nothing. There is another ladder down. Right here. Where does this go, I wonder? Oh, wrong ladder. take this ladder, the one I haven't been down yet. Nothing down here either. <gasps> Alright. Well, let's ride the elevator up. Well, no, let's not. Let's just quick load. That'll be faster. Take me right back to the top. <gasps> now from up here, if you look across the street, you can see where I want to go next. This is another place we need the speed enhancement to explore. I know, doubtless many of you are wondering why I did that instead of... Uh... Oh, and I think I missed. Instead of Run Silent, it's because there are many explorable areas that we can only get to with that augmentation. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, we're here now, and to be honest, I can't quite remember the exact way into Jogs. So we need the key to get in the door. If we head down here. There's nothing there. Further down, I think, is just the elevator that takes us out to the street. actually says we didn't need the speed enhancement we could have just come in from the street but let's get back out to the roof there's a there's a way in I remember I just can't remember exactly what let's jump over here first well, here we find a snipe, sniper ammo, binoculars, and a sniper rifle. I guess that's always good. What I need is the way into jocks. Which I guess it might be over here. I know we can... Do some gradual dropping. God! Down here. Here and here. Oh. This, this isn't really doing me any good. Not that I can see anyway. Oh. Well, we do want to. God! I remember we want to get here because there's a lockpick, a bioelectric cell, and another 40. Yahoo. I guess let's go ahead and use the recharge a little energy so we can pick up the cell. Here, I think I can turn on speed God. enhancement to get here. Hopefully avoid any more damage. God. Oops. Okay, let's try playing with the elevator. Maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe it's being on top of the elevator. Let's go up the sidewalk lift again now that the elevator is down. I've completely <gasps> forgotten how to do this. Sorry, folks. This might be a while. Of 
course, now with the sidewalk lift up there, I don't seem to have a way to call it back down. Well, that's even suckier. Oh, the jock's apartment. What do we do? Oh, my quick save is still up top. That's the good news. Let's run. <laughs> I do see a ladder back there. Let's try to send this bad boy. Well, that's got nothing to do with it. That's the balcony right there. I think maybe I need to just take a dive off a different part of Maggie's roof. All right, let me load the. Let me hit the quick load. Bring myself back up here. Let's go over here instead. Try my speed enhancement here. Not worry so much about that lock pick. Yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, let's just God! head down. Speed enhancement keeps us from taking too much damage from that jump. That's what I wanted to do this whole time. Now that I'm inside here, there's some binoculars on the desk, computer, HKNet, let's hack it. From Paul Denton, subject fallback. Time is short. If you followed orders, you should be on your way back to Hong Kong. Tong will know what to do, so help him. We can't let these bastards get away with what they've done and what they still might do. My brother, my brother may be able to help. I don't know. Sabo rounds, that's handy. <laughs> Here we go. Hong Kong Network Services, Wan Chai District. Your account, number 79489ND, is now active and the activation fee of 95 credits has been automatically added to your first payment. You will be receiving a separate bill. Please remit no payment at this time. We remind you that all traffic over HKNet should comply with the National Electronic Information Directive and is subject to review at any time. Violations of the NEID may result in fines, account deactivation, visa suspension, or criminal proceedings. Username, Flyboy, password, 5 at 5 by 5 JJ HKNet Services. There we go, Flyboy 5x5. Five five. I've sent him to obtain the evidence I compiled of Unatco's recent activities, but I've had to treat him and everyone else I know like pawns. I've sent them to be killed, and also that we could win the larger game. But I think my time to be sacrificed is about to come. If Tong gives you the word, take down Maggie. And if I see you again, you're buying the beers this time. P. From TT, subject surveillance. 
Please continue your observations of Ms. Chow. I suspect that it, is, that it is she who may lay at the heart of our current troubles and not the Red Arrow. My sources within the police department have been quite willing to share with me certain items of information that lead me to believe she was not only responsible for the death of their dragon head, but may also know the location of the dragon's tooth. Your friend Paul was a great aid to the Luminous Path, and as we are in his debt, so are we in yours. From Daedalus, subject, Paul needs you. If you have loyalty to your friends, you must return to New York now. I cannot ascertain the status of the person you identify as Paul Denton. He may or may not be alive, but it is possible that I can assist in the salvage of him and his brother if you return to New York now. I have secured the proper authorizations for you to fly an SH-187 stealth helicopter from the Wan Chai MJ-12 helibase located in the VersaLife building. There is little time. Interesting. Let's read his book. It's yet another Project Dybbuk book about the stealth helicopters. And there's a lockpick, which spares me having to make my way up to the sign, which is nice. He's got food and drinks in his fridge. With that, we are, at least for now, done on Tonochi Road. So... Let's head back to the market, get into the police station. I bet you come from the market. That's where I want to... Let's head all the way back there. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. It's easy to make this jump, so just do that. Head through here. Back to the main market with the music I like. So here is the police station. Let's not do that just yet. Please, look around. Let's get into this building first, before I forget. One lockpick, that's fine, I know where to find another. Pick the door open. Sword. Good news is, we make back the lockpick. There's also a baton. Now, to get in here, we'll have to use a multi-tool. Fine, because I don't know the code. It's only two digits, so it wouldn't be that bad to do the guesswork, but let's just use the multi-tool, it only takes one. Now as we roll in here, we get a 40 skill point bonus. I forgot about this on my initial visit. But in here, we find quite the stack. There's a gas grenade, we make back the multi-tool, two pepper cartridges, a prod charger, there's a bio cell. Let's charge up and take it, another lockpick, another gas grenade, and a data cube. Lumbed in, I've been watching the officers across the way and with the help of a few high-powered optics and an infrared scanner, managed to work out the code for the police substation, 911. This is a lucky number for us, I think, and one we can sell. Which triad do you think would pay the most? Brother Zay. You'll notice that this is only a three-digit code. Maggie gave us the vault code. So now 911 gets us into the station. But the police will turn hostile once we're in here, so we kind of have to be careful. Let's go up to the roof. I think for whatever reason, this guy is actually not hostile, even though we're clearly somewhere we shouldn't be. I'll talk to him. The market will close in two hours. Please go about your business. Purchase a guidebook if you're lost. There is fighting in the Canal Road Tunnel. Be advised. Stay in the market and you will be safe. The triads are at war. We are working to resolve the difficulty. Stay in the market and you will be safe. 
Alright, now let's head down here. This is just the other exit. Now, I think there are three guys in here, but what we want to avoid, if at all possible, is bringing the guys from outside into here, so... Let's take everybody down silently if we can. Um, yeah, nope, somebody heard that. The alarm is precisely what I was hoping to avoid. Hey! Hey! Don't have enough room for the assault rifle, but he had a gas grenade. That's handy. There's no alarm ringing. Good. Data cube. From Central Police Command HK to Wan Chai District, post 11384, Officer Tam. Your recent reports of conflict between the Red Arrow and Luminous Path are most troubling. We will counsel the respective Dragon Heads at the first, their respective Dragon Heads at the first available opportunity. But if further incidents occur, you are sanctioned to open the Ordnance Vault and apply force to the participants as necessary. Interesting. Let's move in here now. I don't think he just stares at the door. I think he'll turn and move, but I could be wrong. Looks like I'm wrong. He's not moving. So we're just gonna have to rush him, too. Quiet. I don't like using prod ammo here because we're about to start fighting the commandos and they basically require the prod to subdue on lethally. He had another gas grenade. That's always good. Let's just see. In this room we've got tech goggles. Let's hit the security terminal. Well, let's check the data cube first. Since the fighting at the canal tunnel, the Luminous Path compound has remained silent and watchful. However, at 1938 there was an explosion in the sound of a helicopter flying from east to west. But when I attempted to locate the aircraft for visual identification, I could only make out a black shape against the night sky. Its skin seemed to absorb light like that of a shark in the deep ocean. At 2010, I began to hear reports of a guilo, possibly the same one who created problems for the elder brother recently in the market, asking questions about things he should not be asking questions about. Alright, now let's hack this. Welcome to PR China, People's Republic of China. Nice. You can just turn off the market cameras, which is always handy. And finally, we'll use Maggie's code to open the vault, which is... 87342. So as we go down here, we get 40 skill points, first of all. What is my skill point total now? 558, still laughable. Data Cube. From Central Police Command HK to Wan Chai District, post 11384. Incident Review. Officer Tam, Tam slash Dragon, is hereby cleared of all charges of negligence or misconduct in incident Rep ID number 00453-AT. It is the opinion of this tribunal that Officer Tam's use of deadly force was not only necessary but proper in his attempt to minimize civilian casualties. No need for further counseling or review is found at this time. Wan Chai Incident Tribunal. Case closed. We got a lamp. There's a law on the ground if you need it. There's a flamethrower. Over here we have napalm, a gas grenade, plasma ammo, sniper rifle ammo, sabo shotgun ammo, ballistic armor here, looks like assault rifle ammo and another bio cell. Good charge again. And over here is another data cube. From Wan Chai District, post 11384, to Central Police Command, HK. Attached, you will find a full surveillance report for the activities of subject Maggie Chow, HKS 0084393. Ms. Chow's associations with the Red Arrow Triad and its Dragonhead, Max Chen, are a matter of record. 
However, recent evidence indicates that she may also have been involved with the death of Chen's predecessor, Yuan Kong, HKS0134091, a contributing factor to the current gang war. Ms. Chow and her relationship to the Versalife Corporation are also under investigation, but show a high probability of being linked to the recent conflict between the triads. District officers are respectfully asked to note that there are several tactical options for accessing Ms. Chow's penthouse, a servant's and service entrance at the rear of the address, a renovation project in progress on the building's seventh floor, and the roof. These options are outlined more fully in the surveillance report if it becomes necessary to detain Ms. Chow or search her premises. Commander Chiong. All right. So, of course, Maggie was lying to us. I think she assumed the police would kill us. But she was sadly mistaken. So now let's go raid her penthouse. We still have the underground mall and the Lucky Money Club to mess around in after we get the sword out of her apartment, but... Then we'll visit the Luminous Path compound, we'll get our, Not a visible for get our kill switch to visit shut the down. Canal. My preference is just to go in right through the secret entrance in her apartment. Once it reaches the point of actually going back there. Now when we get back up there, the maid Mei Sung will be hostile and try to kill us. Maggie herself will have vanished. First, I'm going to track down the maid and take her down. The baton ought to be sufficient, especially now that we are we have achieved a mastery of low-tech weaponry. I just can't remember where the maid went. Probably up by the security computer, since that's where I need to go anyway. There she is. Oh, she's not hostile yet. But you'll notice that Maggie is gone. I'm sorry. Miss Chow is not at home. Yeah, well, tell her I know she double-crossed the Red Arrow, and I intend to prove it. Oh, JC, You are mistaken. Miss Chow. She should never have sent me to the police station. Now I know she's hiding something, and I intend to find out what it is. No. No. You are mistaken. Guards! <laughs> okay, that works. Oh, but I hear the guards coming after me. She's got a med kit. I don't know why she dropped her pistol, but she did. I don't think the guards will come out here, now that I think about it. So, let's go to the security computer. Like I reasoned out earlier, the login is mchow and the password is insurgent. You can shut off the cameras, unlock and open all the doors. Oh good, they've settled back down there in the security station. So now, we'll go in through the entrance here inside the penthouse. Being careful not to make noise. All we need to do is pull the paper lantern and the wall will move away. There we go. get 50 skill points for getting into here, which brings me up to, what, 608. I think this is still just 718. 